This is Norway spruce. Now this is quite a familiar tree. When most people see this, uh, they think of Christmas trees, which is a pretty good call because certainly in the past, this has been our default Christmas tree species. But uh, Norway spruce, Picea abius, um, has real potential as a timber tree, as a production timber tree as well. European origins, as the name suggests, and it's a pretty familiar part of uh, UK woodlands. How can we identify it? Sometimes a bit of a challenge with the conifers, but le let's have a go. The spruces all tend to have relatively even length needles, and on Norway spruce, these needles are distributed and arranged pretty evenly around each of the small stem sections. So it has this sort of bottle brush um, structure to it, relatively even needle length distributed around the whole of the structure of the, uh, of the, of the branch and branch sections. Norway spruce, classic green um, top and bottom, so if you turn it up and look underneath the needles are green top and bottom. And we'll see later on when we look at one of its uh, relatives, one of its cousins, Sitka spruce, there is quite a difference between Norway and Sitka. Now in terms of texture, as you'd expect from a Christmas tree, it's a little bit bristly but it's not particularly harsh to the touch. Okay, so even length needles, bottle brush type arrangement distributed evenly around the stems and green top and bottom when you look at Norway spruce. One of the other distinctive characteristics with Norway spruce, unfortunately we don't have any here at the moment because these are young trees, is the cones. The cones tend to be long, elongated, multi-layer structures. They're quite familiar. Once you see a spruce cone, usually about four to five inches long, overlapping scales making up the structure they're very very distinctive.